Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you, Taurus. In the recent past, in love, we have the Temperance, the King of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. And with the overall energy of the recent past being the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's just something here that you guys are healing from from the past i do feel like this is somebody that you had a a very very deep love for taurus um with the seven of swords energy though i do feel like somebody could have betrayed your trust in some way some of you guys this could have been financially some of you guys could have felt used by a person whether it was financially or you just felt like you know you invested so much into something and didn't really get that energy back okay um with that six of pentacles energy being here now, that temperance energy, I just feel like you guys have been trying to heal from a connection. Some of you guys could have been waiting because I do feel like there are some of you guys here that are like waiting on something, whether it's like waiting on a person to come back towards you, waiting on an apology or some closure. Like, I just feel like for some of you guys, there's something here that you're waiting for. For others of you, I guess I just feel like this is you... Um, you know, trying to heal, okay? But it's one of those things that it takes time. It's a process, okay? So in the current energy, show me the current energy for love for Taurus. Oh, buddy. If I don't get these all flipped around first. Current energy for love for Taurus, please. All right. We have the three of cups. the Page of Wands, and the Hermit. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. I'm getting a couple different messages. I'm going to give them both to you. You guys just take it how it resonates, okay? Now, for some of you guys, I do feel like Somebody who has really hurt you here, two of cups and three of cups together make the fool or make the five of cups. I saw the fool down here. Make the five of cups. Okay, so I definitely feel like um this could be somebody that has really hurt you in the past. I do feel like somebody you could be receiving a message that's at the heart of a, the heart of a reading here. So I definitely feel like there's some kind of message coming in. Now the, the page of wands can be being on the receiving end of that here. And I feel like this is you have been out of communication with this person for quite some time with this hermit energy. For those of you where this is a past person reaching out to you, okay? They could be wanting to reconnect, wanting to get together, have maybe have coffee, get together, have lunch, let's get together and talk. Um, but they could be wanting to reconcile here. Some of you guys, they could be reaching out through a third party with this energy here. So maybe it's like maybe they're, you know, asking a friend to kind of feel it out for them or something of that nature. Now, for others of you, I do feel like this could be a new energy. I feel like there's somebody here who's very interested in you, uh, very attracted to you, and I feel like they could be asking you out on a date, okay? Hey, can, let's, can we get together? Let's get together and spend time together. Let's get together and, you know, go out for a drink or something like that here. Um, and I feel like you guys have been kind of on your own for a while, and some of you guys have been still trying to heal from this past situation. Some of you guys are still kind of waiting on a past situation. So I think for those of you where this is a new person, I still feel you being kind of hesitant here, but I feel like Spirit is asking you to be open to it because we do have this full energy. It could be a really beautiful brand new beginning if you're willing to kind of take a chance on it, okay? In the future position, what do we have in the future for Taurus here? What do we have in the future for Taurus here in love? All right, Taurus, we have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Swords. 
with the lovers at the bottom of the deck. I feel like either way, whether this is a new person or a past person, I definitely feel like there is potential for this to be a very um, intense soul connection, especially that two of cups. Now with this um, lovers, and I see the king and queen of cups here, so divine counterparts, whether this is a past person that's this energy with you or whether this is that new person, however it's resonating for you, um, I do feel that energy here. Now, the lovers can also talk about a turning point, and I do. I feel like there is a huge turning point um, in your love life. You know, things have been in one way or in one energy. Uh, I kind of feel like it's been very kind of stuck and stagnant, and I feel like all of a sudden that energy shifts and things are very, very different. Okay, your love life will be very different after this week. Whether this is a past energy or a new energy, I feel like your love life is going to be very different after this week. Okay. The lovers can also talk about making a major decision. And I feel that here as well, whether it's a decision to open up to something new and give it a chance or whether it is uh, making a decision to, you know, reconnect with the past energy here. Now we have this Queen of Cups energy, Ace of Cups and Page of Swords. Whether it's past or new, I feel like the message is the same here. I feel like you are really, really taking a look at this person, reviewing the situation, and trying to figure out what's best for you here with this Page of Swords energy. For those of you where this is a new person, it says curiosity is a type of magic, okay? So this could be encouraging you to just get to know a person, to learn more about them, to spend more time with them. Some of you guys are just very curious. If this is even a past person, it's very curious to hear um, like what they have to say, what's different now, you know, what energy they're in. A lot has had to happen. A lot has had to come together in your life and in this person's life in order to get to this moment here. And that's the same, whether this is a past or new, I feel like a lot has had to take place. You see, this is, it says potion here, right? Um, and for a potion, you have a lot of different things that come together to create it, right? And I feel like that here. I feel like a lot of things have had to happen in this person, this person's life as well as in your own to both get you to where you are right now in this moment right here in front of each other. Now, I do feel like there's also this stirrer here. I'm really drawn to that. Some of you guys, um, this is stirring up feelings in you, whether it's past or new, a lot is being stirred up and maybe you guys haven't really felt anything like this in a while. Um, and, I, and I feel like it's bringing up some old things here or bringing up some new things. Either way, after this week, it looks like things are going to be very different. Whether you're deciding to have a conversation and check a person out and kind of see, see where to go from here. And there's a new opportunity in love, whether it's a past person or whether this is a brand new person that you're deciding to give a chance to and see. Um, either way, there looks like there's this person is very going to be very caring, compassionate, understanding for where you're at and what you've been through. And it looks like it could be a very divine connection. Two of Cups, lovers, king and queen of cups, divine counterparts here. But that is what I have for you, Taurus. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here, and I will see you next time.